Have you ever driven on a regular trip, for instance, from home to work and wondered how you got there because you don't remember doing it? It seems almost as though we're on autopilot most of the time. Days go by and merge into one another and we don't realise where the time is going. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video and covering some ways in which we can start to be more in the moment each day. I've had times in my life when I've been doing the same thing over and over so much it felt like I was cruising through life and everything was passing me by. I've spoken to many people over the years who felt the same, who get to the end of the day not really being able to remember much about the day because they've gone through it in cruise control. We're bombarded with information from every angle 24-7 these days and it seems to wear down our senses leaving us dull and different and coasting through life on autopilot. We take our surroundings for granted and stop paying attention because apparently we look at our phones 150 times a day or to put it another way, once every six minutes. Back in 1971, economist Herb Simon warned that a wealth of information creates a poverty of attention. And he appears to have been right. Our attention spans are getting shorter. On YouTube, for example, you can lose the majority of viewers within the first 30 seconds. Unlike every other species on the planet, we can take control of our minds and consciously direct our thinking. Just imagine if you spent an hour a week directing your mind and paying attention and taking notice of the world around you in a conscious way, how you could see the world in a different light. It was that premise that provided the impetus for author Rob Walker to write the book The Art of Noticing. In his book, there are 131 exercises that are opportunities to see things that may just be passing you by. But before I tell you what they are, if you've been getting any value from this video, I'd be grateful if you'd click the like button as it helps to get the video show more on YouTube. And if you've got any comments, feel free to make them below. There are four categories of exercises. Those categories are, one, so easy, anyone could do it right now. Two, they're doable. It may take some planning, but it's nothing you couldn't do. Three, enjoyably challenging. You'll make an effort, but it's worthwhile. And four, advanced, where noticing becomes an adventure. He recalls that he started out by looking for things that we take for granted, such as noticing where payphones were on the streets, looking for neighborhood watch signs, and spotting where security cameras were. When we're on holiday, we do what tourists do. We look at the architecture, we take notice of the different foods on offer, how the views are so different to when we're at home. We pretty much pay attention to everything around us. But the familiarity of home gets taken for granted and we no longer actually see what is around us. And so one of the first exercises he suggests in his book is to have a bit of fun by aiming to notice something new every day. It doesn't mean it hasn't been there all along. It just means that you may not have taken notice before. Here are some suggestions. Stray shopping trolleys stray traffic cones, hand-painted signs, weeds. In fact, anything you want. Make a game of it. Do you remember playing red car, yellow car when you were a kid? Play it again. Why not? Go on, do it. You know you want to. The whole aim is to start to get you on the road to being in a place where you're not just on autopilot all the time. You can begin to see the wonder all around you again. There was uproar recently over the cutting down of the sycamore gap tree in Northumberland. If you're not aware of it, it's the tree that featured in the Robin Hood film that starred Kevin Costner. And yet, as I thought about it, I realised that although I'm surrounded by trees where I live, I can't remember the last time I really looked at one. How about you? When was the last time you stopped and took a proper look at the nature around you? People here in the UK go to the National Trust Houses with their lovely gardens, and yet we'll often miss the beauty that surrounds us. If you feel as though you're in a rut, try doing something different. Perhaps if you drive to work, take a different route, or instead of driving, go by bike or public transport. You could go out people watching. In Simon and Garfunkel's song America, do as they did. Play games with the faces. Guess what they do for a living? As you're out and about, look for buildings that look as though they've got faces. 
In fact, make up your own ideas and have a bit of fun with it. Be as wacky as you like with your ideas. Start to notice more in your life. And you'll realize that you don't have to live your life on cruise control. And when you've done that, you can start to think about what really matters in your life. And if you click up there, I'll give you some suggestions and ideas for consideration as to just what that might be. I'll see you next time.